This is 4K of IR. We believe it. Wow. So did it work? Did it work? Yeah. Did you get the job? She's interviewing three more people. Three, oh, she's still interviewing? That's what she said. Okay. So right off the bat, she's like saying, you're gonna be CEO? Chief Operating Officer. So C-O-O. C-O-O. O-O. O-O. So when you operate, what are you operating? The money making machine. The money making machine. Our goal is to get one million dollars. Um, oh, she's got a goal. Okay. Next year. That's her goal. One million okay. Dollars. Yeah. Company goal. So I guess as the CEO, I'll probably make a... That's a nice Tesla. I really like that Tesla. I'll probably make a hundred and fifty of that. Huh? So the goal is, I'm really excited for this job opportunity because um, this is, I've been doing this for five years without getting paid basically for Sunker Necker, you know? Yeah, you're doing it like, um, what is it? Um, intern. And when yeah. they get money, you get money. Yeah. Sort of deal. Interesting. But now it's, I'm gonna be actually getting paid for my time. Like, let's say go network. Yeah, you know, go to an event, go network, go meet CEOs, charm them up, have a good time. I'm getting like, you know, ninety dollars just to show up. But I'm gonna actually close the deal, close the sale because that's who I am. But you get bonus stuff if you uh, and there's bonus land, yeah, the client type of deal. Yep, which I will. Yeah, I think you're good at what she's talking about and what you're describing. Her talking to you and you describing what she's saying. She's wonderful. She's she's compelling. She's compelling. She's driven. She's uh, you know, uh, she's like mid age. Like she hot. Uh, she's you know like good looking. Is she a bill? Bosses, I'd like to. She's she's a very <laughs> healthy looking Filipina. She's young, very helpful looking. Healthy looking, very nice, pleasant looking. Okay, so energy. she's a cool chick. All right. Cool check out. About how old? I would say maybe like late thirties. Late thirties, okay, thirties or forties. Which is good. Million dollars. Um, driven, building her career. And she I needs, want a million dollars. She needs a partner, basically, a partner that's gonna go with her. And I really saw that. Um, well, she's kind of been it by herself then. She's been doing it by herself, but right now she has three team members. Okay. And I can. I'll be the fourth potentially if I, if I decide to. Okay. Of course, so she's take, building take a the team. Job. Yep, she's building a team. Instead of hiring crew, she's kind of building a team. So there's a two-week free training, um, but Is it non-paid, free? non-paid of course. Oh, that kind of free. Yeah, and then after that, you're you're going a part-time, part-time pay. So I'll be working part-time, which is good. I like part-time. You know, and I told her, but the very earliest my test will be ready at the end of January. Your test. I will, yeah, I will not be able to drive. She's like, okay, it's worth the wait. So. Your Telsa. Tes Tesla. Tesla. Tesla yeah. Okay, I thought you said test. <laughs> Your test <laughs> threw me off. My test will be ready till later. So, okay. So these things are four hours long, and you go in, you network. Uh, Schmooze the clients. Yep. Schmooze the clients. Yeah, depends. you kind of watch out, stay in your lane. Good God. Wait, I'm recording you making some type of felon of a <laughs> fucking thing. You what are you talking about? I'm just scratching driving. my face. See? 
You're scratching my face. What are you yeah, he's, he's putting his, uh, spooling his ear. So Hi, may speak, my name is Marco. May I speak to you, uh, scheduling manager? So, yeah. Woo! <laughs> Holy crap. I don't, tr I don't trust salespeople yeah, because God. they're too good at it. <laughs> like, Buttered up. I'm not, you know, I'm really good at it. You're good at it too. And it's a but skill. I, I used to be naive. That's the problem. But today. It's a skill set. Okay, remember that guy in Toastmasters that was pitching? Let's see. Uh, oh, oh, yeah, yeah, the Indian dude that no, had no. to work for $7. Not what a, what no, a no, pig. No. $7 an hour. Oh, I will never get over that. I will never. No, no. I have resentment for you for him. No, no, no. He just slaved you away. Yeah, he slaved me away. But, no, the, the little slaved guy, the little guy business. that was like Mr. Mickey Mouse. We used yeah, to the guy with gold that was a bus driver and he had a brain tumor. No, 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 no. Oh, my God, we got some stories, bro. Oh, I just mentioned Toastmasters. We've been friends for how many years freaking. now? Eight, five, six years? Well, we got some story, wild stories to I'm share. I'm trying to get to that guy. Uh, I don't want to mention his name. I can just say... The little guy. Short. Right. Yeah, I think I've talked to him once or twice. Asian guy. Okay, go on, go on. He's not Asian. He's not Asian, dude. He's Holly. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Sold me life insurance. Okay, he sold me life insurance, and I ended up paying out seven thousand five hundred dollars for my life insurance that I defaulted on because I don't need life insurance. So, how much money did he cost you? He cost me almost seven thousand five hundred dollars. See, now he's getting money off of that. Probably 10%. He's got maybe $750. He spent that all in two weeks in, in Colombia on prostitutes. And you see him posting on Facebook? No, nothing. No, he's very quiet. No, he posts on Facebook, though. Yeah, he's in Colombia. He's in Mendelin. He's probably hiding. <laughs> yeah. From he sold his house. I mean, he got like two, a million and a half dollars. He put all that money to his life insurance. He'll be fine. Once he's like 62 years old, he'll be collecting $150,000 a month. Well, his that life insurance. insurance company is basically what they call multi-level marketing. Oh, it's a scam. All of that it's is a scam, scam man. They're it's, just... It's very close to pyramid. What if you die? Here you go. Just in case you die. Here you go. Here, pay forward. Just in case you die. Bitch, if I'm dead, I'm dead. Okay? Here's here's my... Here's my... Uh, my here's... I have $20,000 there. Fucking bear me. Burn me. That's it. You know? It's like... Jesus Christ. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you were more the atheist. <laughs> Forgive me, Keith. Forgive me, guys. I'm just ranting on. But are you Are you atheist? Burn me. Just fucking burn my body, okay? Or no, donate I mean, it to science. Cremation's okay yeah. with the church. <laughs> um, but yeah, he cost me seven hundred fifty. It's a, the valuable lesson. What I always think about. What is the valuable, valuable, valuable lesson from him? He didn't kill him, so you're not in prison for that. <laughs> I think from Travis, what I learned is that probably learned uh, that um, he had a compelling argument and the compelling argument was take care of Michael don't take care of Adua, don't take care of San Gronegra, take care of Michael first make sure Michael is first and he's right, take care of Michael first what, he was selling you with that? yeah, and I'm like okay, alright you're right, I give away to San Gronegra, I give away to Adua all my time, all. sweat equity sweat equity is what I learned I learned that over these years, I put a lot of sweat equity into Odua. You cannot put a value on the Odua blockchain company as a technology. It's a, it's a technology company. You cannot put a value on it now. Other than, yes, as it's $10 million market cap, right, based on the token value. Okay, slow down. Odua, I can see it as a viable, that's something I can trust. Like sure. I, it's Odua, been for yeah, a while. I can see that becoming something. Yeah. But what about. Uh, Multi-level marketing insurance. So like yeah, insurance. insurance. Back to that. Um, anyways, I just kind of reflect on what I've learned. You know, analyzing. I'm not naive today. But he multi sold you. He sold a policy. me policy. Policy. Yep. He sold me a policy, and then four months later, pew, he's gone. He's yeah. He, he Fly just, by night. night. Four months, and um, I don't think about it today. No, like, but in his, I'm not saying getting over it. Well, that's a lesson in itself, but fly by night. Yeah, it's a fly by example. night is the is night. their method of operation. Thank you for getting out of the road. What the hell? Oh, sorry, <laughs> but uh, what he's doing is schmoozing. That's what you're called uh, buttering you up. He buttered you up by saying, "Take care of Michael first. 
Yeah, that's right. See, he sized you up. Yep, he asked me all, everything I'm Where doing. Where you're interested, yeah, your interests. And then he bought me up. That's a perfect, he's a perfect example of that excellent salesman. He bought yeah. a client up. Well, it's, buttering up is more like, uh, more close to a lot of compliments. Oh, you're doing so good, you're doing so nice. It's, uh, and you know it was all genuine no doubt and you know right away I said look Travis I had a life insurance when I was 26 years old okay but I realized I could not pay thousand dollars every month for the rest of my life into that policy so when I'm old and crushing I could collect 15,000 I'd rather just get a job and retire you know get a paycheck do my job and then I can still collect 15,000 a month uh, and I retire yeah. early with insurance in it's general a nurse, it's a scam it's is just, basically kind of a scam yeah. but you payment. chalked up the numbers of their insurance thing and then you get a life expectancy thing and what am I getting out of it in the end what the hell yeah I mean, I'm gonna live and if you get one of those life insurance company things you sell them to other people see the whole idea for him when he approached me was oh be one of us yeah he was indoctrinating me into the cult the cult be one of us for he scammed me for about 180 bucks uh, less to you or how and then but then he was like and then you sell these things a bunch of life insurance and then you make money when they get sold and they get sold so it's like uh, yeah it's like any other scam business so i'm like walking around going like eh Benny, Sam, my sister hey yo hey sister you want to buy life insurance for yourself you got it like you know no one wants to hear life insurance policy no matter how kind of cool it might come across like how saleable is life insurance well you bought it so <laughs> but it's like um it i remember it sounded good on paper it sounded like oh sounds good and it covers everything and this one covers everything it just covers everything yeah but it's really how much money are you giving and his little multi-level marketing scheme. I'm gonna have to edit his name out. Whatever. It's the it's like have you you know what a cult is, right? And they Yeah, the ritual um, kind of private, closed doors. Yeah. Uh, you have to be indoctrinated to the cold, just full of secrecy. Uh, there's ritual, you know, formal yeah. rituals, it, proceedings. They have an inclusion, you know, you're included and others aren't. So they're like a part of, you're like a part of the small little group, right? Mm -hmm. And there's always, with a cult, there's a charismatic leader. There's like a leader. And everyone gathers around and says, Oh! Leader, you're so cool. What should I call you? Squirrel, Mickey Mouse, that guy had no attention span. <laughs> but uh, it's powered a lot by what's known as the cult of personality. You've heard of that? I was rear ended right here. It was 20 feet behind the sidewalk, Copper Road. This is where you were rear ended. Like That's why you're quiet. Right across there is where I met my um, chiropractor. I met him, he just so happened to me. He heard it, he walked out, it was around 5 p.m. and he kind of came out and helped me. So you got rear-ended, you're on the side of the road. And I met my chiropractor right there. And One of the weaknesses is not your NDA, I'm a veteran. Got y'all hooked up with all the chiropracting. He's like, excuse me. <laughs> I witnessed you got rear-ended. Here's my card. <laughs> That's great. That's kind of an interesting coincidence. Yeah. Met a friend, uh, and he's uh, he's a, va a, a valid and prolific, if I, that's even the word, because he's all into the blockchain and cryptocurrencies. He likes to speculate on Bitcoin, where it's heading. He knows proof of stake, proof of work, centralization, decentralization, the concepts and theories. He even met some Bitcoin developers on the islands. So he's all into that kind of thing. So he's really, oh, wow. I'm really happy to meet me. Good connection. He has lots of money. He's looking to expand his, um, his chiropractic business. Uh, he's looking to put solar on there as well. 
solar. Yep. Mm -hmm. So that's the other uh, quarter one, 2023. I'm looking to get into solar. So whatever happens, may I don't know yet. I'm, I have options with different jobs, but I definitely want to do something with solar. That's hands down. It's gonna be every job, yeah. including the forty-five dollar an hour um, green energy. Red. Yeah, that's yeah. my mission of this world. It's leaving legacy. Why well, work when you can work and benefit humanity? You know. Nothing like benefiting humanity. Nothing like nature. Yeah, making something. a lot of money doing it. Yeah, nothing like sharing us type one civilization. sock on top of here this is the dead cat they call it this fluffy thing it's called a dead cat I just gave it its um, ultimate test the wind tunnel oh yeah <laughs> that's what going through the tunnel going through the tunnel buffalo 